Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy and Charmaine and Ian. And uh, we have a list of people here that we would like to minister to today. The next person I want to minister to is Cindy Burton. Hi, uh, Cindy. Uh, the Lord shows me how there's rain that come in your life and lots of seeds that's been sown into your life over a long period of time starts to grow and it looks like a tropical forest almost of all of the seeds and this fruit and this life growing in you and the lord says that the the curse of death has been broken over your life uh, and that he uh, is just bring increase and multiplication into you god bless you cindy Cindy, God showed me how He's like increasing your tongues. I felt like how you're like when you're praying in tongues, how there's a flood starting to arise from you. I just felt like how God showed me you've got like, like this riverbed, but God is showing me has, how He's expanding your riverbed. And I just felt like how God is like activating in you different spirits, the, uh, the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of might, how, how they start to operate in your life. And I just felt like how God shows me how you're like wrapped in His presence. I saw like how God showed me how you're like having a robe of with a robe of his presence around you and I just feel like how God shows me that presence is not just for yourself it's like everybody that comes in your presence how they'll feel the mighty the spirit of God on you and they'll it will be able to rub on rub off on them as well be blessed thank you Cindy for being here please remember write us a comment the next word is for John John, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you uh, in a tug of war where there's two teams and they're pulling on a chain. And I just see how you're in the center and everybody thinks you are controlling these two teams. You are pulling against them. But because of the wisdom you receive, you're actually using their own uh, strength against them. And I see how the Lord is imparting tremendous wisdom to you where you will be able to use people abilities against them where they think they are strong because of the wisdom of the world god's going to give you wisdom of the supernatural and how you'll just be able to conquer and to overcome um, and i just see it's not to win and be triumphant in an argument to triumph over people but it's to triumph over the spirit that wants to bring um, a, a dishonor and i just see how the lord says he's equipping you be blessed. Hey man, John, I got an interesting picture for you. So I just saw how um, the Lord is really giving you wisdom. So it was like you were getting on this, um, the, this, this car transportation to get to one place to the other. And then you would have this habit of stressing the whole way to when you get there, what's going to happen, what's, what's, going, to, what, what's going to happen. And I just feel the Lord says sleep. Just like Jesus slept in that boat and had peace. I, I just, and you need to like have wisdom to regain your strength. Instead of stressing the whole time, God is telling you to sleep. And then I see how you get repowered like a new battery. And then when you get to your destination, it's like you're glowing with God's glory. So I just feel the Lord says, sleep, but then rise in my power and, and so. So I just feel the Lord is really giving you that, that balance. You're so anointed. You're gifted. I just feel how the Lord says you are going to glow. God bless you. Hey, awesome. Uh, John, God bless you. Um, so Anthony, the Lord shows me how um, there's, a, there's something in your life that's overheating. Uh, it's like a... a something that wants to explode or a problem that really wants to put his head out and become a really a big issue but i see how the lord takes that problem and he puts it in a bucket of ice and he pours ice over it and then all of that uh, energy just gets kind of dissolved and cools down and then with the wisdom of god you resolve that problem without it bringing conflict and division in the family and the Lord is giving you anointing to, to be a peacemaker uh, in your life and also to walk in the wisdom and in the joy of the Lord. God bless you Anthony. Anthony what I saw for you God showed me like David when he wanted to when he went to war with uh, Goliath Saul wanted to give him some of his armor to put on but he said he doesn't want it because he's going to go with the spirit of God um, that's on him that's the on armor that he's going to use and I feel like how God shows me as well when you go in the armor of God how God shows me that any battle like any Goliath will be able to defeat be well, you, you will be able to defeat. And I just feel like our God shows me like He's already with you. His presence is with you and you'll be able to defeat those battles. Be blessed. Thank you, Anthony, for being here. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is for Alida. 
A leader of the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you as a block and you're just trying to fit in, but you don't fit in. And I see how the Lord has given you or placed you in circumstances where you get um, shaped to fit into where you need to fit in. And then you're still, you're wondering, is it the right place to fit in? And I see how the Lord says, yes. I giving you the exact place to fit in you will fit in uh, but I just see how the Lord is working on you your circumstances may not be comfortable or ideal uh, but I just see how the Lord says well uh, just work through it you'll see the the beauty that will come out of it all be blessed Amen. Alita, the picture God showed me for you was how you were standing in front of this wall and you were painting this this whole wall, this beautiful painting of flowers and it was very colorful and vibrant. And then you finished it, then you went to bed and then the next day it was a blank wall. Then you had to start over and you've been doing this over and over and over. And I just feel how the Lord says that I'm planting you and taking you to a place for wherever you paint. And when you paint, it, it, will, it will stay there. I just feel the Lord says he's taking you to places where when you do your work, it will really it will really bring color and it won't be like a restart because I just feel like it's been frustrating you but I just feel the Lord said that was also like a training you know like the uh, movie the karate kid when the guy felt like he was doing all the unnecessary things pick up the jacket drop the jackets in that movie and I just feel that's what God kind of did with you but I feel God is taking you to a place where when you do paint it's going to be there and it's gonna stay God loves you God bless you hey Alida God bless you uh, so the next word is for Marina. Uh, Marina, I really feel uh, that the Lord is still helping you uh, to build your business with that school uh, and I see how you uh, prepare a manual. Uh, this is an operational manual, this is a procedure manual, this is how things happen and you, you write it out nicely and you put your staff through training and then you launch the new system that God has given to you in 2025 uh, and I also felt that the Lord says that uh, you're not only going to take physical responsibility, but you're also going to take spiritual responsibility and open up the heavens so that there's always blessing upon at school. God bless you, Marino. Marino, what I saw for you, God showed me how it's like strengthening your knees. I felt like how God is saying that He's strengthening your knees because you're on your knees like the whole time. When you keep on praying, how God just shows me how, how miracles are going to happen. Things that in your life that you feel like um, is not like shifting. God shows me how it's like shifting when you stay, stay on your knees. I physically saw like in the spiritual realm while you're praying it's like things are going like shifting and it's going higher and it's shift, it's turning around. And then God, God also shows me how you like your whole family. It's like they sh you showed me like they're in a dome. God is protecting them. Um, things that you're praying over your children, things that you're praying over your husband, God just shows me how He's going to make a change and how He's going to um, help you through circumstances. Be blessed. Thank you, Marina. Please write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Susan. Susan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a plane that is streamlined and it's streamlined for takeoff. And I just see how the Lord is busy with you in your life to streamline you so that what you're busy with will take off. I see it's been taking some time, it feels like you've dragged your feet and it doesn't want to come off the ground. But I just see how the Lord says, I'm giving you the ability and the creativity to get this project off the ground. And I see how it will be streamlined, how it will, uh, it will fly, it will work because the Lord is involved. And I just see how you prayed about it and the Lord says, because you, you made your, your um, path known to me, I will smooth it out. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. So, son, the picture God showed me for you, that there was like a lot of rain, and I just feel the Lord says, He's going to bring a rainbow. He's going to reveal His promises to you, the promises that He's given you like 10 years ago. I just feel God is really revealing His goodness to you in this time, and I just see all these rainbows. And then I just feel how the Lord says that I'm giving you a coat of many colors. I'm calling you to carry that, my mantle of my glory. And it was kind of like you left it in the cupboard at home, but the Lord says, I want you to wear it because that is that is your gifting and then I just see there's a lot of things um, that the Lord is also revealing it about to you a, a gifts that you that you don't know about yourself that God has planted in your heart and the Lord is really going to start activating them and it's not only going to bless you in your ministry but also for your business as well God bless you hey your son uh, God bless you awesome to have you uh, watch this uh, and I know the Lord will awaken something new in your life uh, so uh, Bridget um, uh, I really feel that the Lord wants you to declare the Word of God over your life. 
So I saw all of these angels and they so ready to help you. But you have to say, Lord, I'm going to declare your word. Uh, I'm going to come in line with the, the blueprint that God has for me. And I see a lot of resources coming to you, doors being opened. But you saying, Lord, I'm stepping into that blueprint. I'm taking steps of faith. Uh, and you're going to see how the Lord is supernaturally going to come alongside you and help you fulfill the vision that God, He gives to you. God bless you, Bridget. Yeah, Bridget, what I saw for you as well, I just felt like how God showed me how you're like feeling a bit defeated. But God also showed me how like when you start to speak life into your circumstances, when you start to speak life in what you need, and when you declare what you need, I feel like how God shows me how like provision is going to start raining down. I already saw like how God showed me how like the clouds are forming on top of you. And I just felt like how God is saying, make ready for a storm because everything that you need is going to fly to you um, like a storm coming down. Be blessed. Thank you Br Bridget for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Nareen. Nareen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you. You have the keys. You're trying to start this car but it just doesn't want to start. The battery is flat. So it feels like for your ministry you've got the keys and you feel you've got everything but it just doesn't want to come off the ground. And I just see how the Lord says because the battery is flat you need to go to the Lord for the anointing to get the power to be able to start this ministry. At the right time you'll be able to start this ministry. So go and sit down. I see there's a lot of things that the Lord wants to discuss with you so that you can just get clarity of mind and just know what the will of God is for your life. Be blessed. Amen. Um, Nolan, the picture that I showed me for you was how you, you, you know, when you go to the gym and you start picking up weights and then if it's too heavy and then obviously you're going to hurt yourself. And I just see how you're very like hard on your wrists. And I just feel the Lord says that he's, he's calling you to start small, but you're going to fly and that's going to build. So I just feel the Lord says, don't pick up the heaviest weight first. The Lord says build up to it. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to be such a Holy Spirit is going to be such a mentor and coach to you in this season and he and he's really going to train you how to become more fit and spiritually strong but also i just feel how you know whatever is in the inside will come out on the outside and then when you get your spirit more healthy and fit you're going to find a lot of things in the outside become more established more orderly peaceful stable you're going to see a lot of breakthroughs but i just feel there's such a great and mighty work god is doing in your heart and in your life with your relationship with him you're really going to grow in this time and it's going to show. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Nareen. God bless you. Um, please write us a comment. Uh, so the next word is for Lisa. Uh, so Lisa, I, I see how you're very compliant in the situation and the circumstances that you are. And I felt that the Lord says you need to break out. Break out of that limitations that's placed upon you. Um, and maybe you, you know sometimes rebels, they want to just break out that that mundane situation and I felt that the Lord is giving you a breaker anointing to break out and then I saw you on a Holly Davidson motorcycle and you're just driving down the road and you feel free and you don't feel restricted and as, as all, with that wind blowing over you it's also as, as if you're just leaving all the old and all the limitations of your life behind and you're breaking free into the new that God has for your life. God bless you. Uh, Lisa, God loves you so much. I just felt like how God is saying for every problem there is a solution. You just yeah. need to pray about the solutions. Um, I feel like how God is saying do not get defeated when you see something and you don't know what to do at the moment. Because God is saying that when you pray about things and when you spend time on getting solutions for the things, everything can be um, change. I just feel like our God shows me how like He wants you to have like a mind shift. He wants you to shift your mind from where you are at the moment because you feel like you've got like this limited mind but God shows me how when you do a mind shift and you go into His mind um, you like you get like a, the same frequency that he, he has how God shows me that you'll see stuff like very differently and God also shows me like in the spiritual realm how he's going to unlock in you uh, a creativity that you will see and you'll with, with that creativity creativity I just feel like how God shows me how you like you'll be refreshed and rejuvenated be blessed me. Thank you, Lisa, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is for Amanda. Amanda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you wearing your crown uh, and you 
suddenly realize that you are wearing your crown, you realize who you are, and it is as if you are moving from a winter season into spring where everything starts to new. And the Lord says it's because you're starting to renew your mind. It, there's no, it's not that you are not royalty, it's just you need to realize in your circumstances what is going on and you must think about what God thinks about you, not think what God doesn't think about you or the negative things. I just see how there's a renewing of your mind taking place, the same as the change of seasons. Be blessed. Amen. Amanda, I really feel how the Lord is really giving you like a supernatural memory. I feel like God is really, I don't know if it's maybe you're like studying, working on something, applying yourself with something, or just life has been so busy that you like forget what you had for breakfast or something. You know, those little things because life gets busy. But I just feel how like God is really giving you such a supernatural memory. You know, like in the movies where, the, where like the superhero realizes he, he can process information just like that. And, and then he starts like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's like a there's a movie about that. Um, but anyway, I, I just I just I just really feel how God is really blessing your mind right now and giving you the mind of Christ. So I want to say that now more than ever is the best time for you to study something, learn something, because I really feel God is blessing your mind to receive new information and to really remember it. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, I'm on now. <laughs> I think you're gonna just like that. You're gonna <laughs> learn new things. Yes. Uh, God bless you. Hey, awesome. Thank you, family. It was such, was such a pleasure for us to minister to you uh, today. Uh, please write us a comment. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, uh, you can hit that subscribe button. Write me a little comment. Uh, I really love and appreciate each one of you. Have a fabulous day. God bless.